Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some cookies from Dewey's Bakery. I have the peanut butter, the brownie crisp, uh, toasted coconut, and Myra. These were $3.99 each at the Fresh Market. They, The Fresh Market sells a lot of Dewey's cookies, but we've reviewed a lot of Dewey's cookies on the channel as well. Uh, these are, are very, very thin little cookies. There's a lot in there. There's eight servings uh, per container. Um, the peanut butter cookies are rich, creamy peanut butter, bits of fresh roasted peanuts, and a sprinkling of salt. Eight cookies are 120 calories. That just really tells you, yeah, that tells you how small they are. You could use these in like a, a pie crust or something if you mm -hmm. wanted to. I also have the buttery kind of flavor. I love the flavor of the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. When you first put it on your tongue though, like the first thing I got was like a buttery flavor. Mm -hmm. No artificial flavors or preservatives, no synthetic colors. These are baked with care in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. They're not, they're not the same flavor as like a classic peanut butter cookie. They're more, um, I think it's a milder peanut butter flavor. It's definitely there, but it's a it's a nice smooth like a peanut butter flavor. And for me, it tastes like one of those old fashioned peanut butter cookies. You think so? Mm -hmm. It to mm -hmm. me, the peanut butter flavor is strong. It's there. It's very sweet. Oh, it's super sweet. The difference Something is, nice. um, the difference is, is that um, it, it, the whole texture, you know, with an old fashioned peanut butter cookie, it's. Um, those are bigger and they're softer the middle the center is soft and, and then the, around the edge you have the, the crisp edge this whole cookie is crisp but i really um i get she's a very strong peanut butter flavor I, I get the peanut butter for sure but it, i don't consider it strong it's just that it's just a nice peanut butter flavor. i like it quite a bit quite yep. a bit I mean, I um, now like i said the buttery kind of flavor really comes through for me all of these are going to be crisp. We bought all crisp cookies, but I do prefer, it's funny, we're, we're getting it, because I prefer softer cookies, but uh, that's okay. That doesn't mean these don't have the flavor. Uh, uh, they use a, plenty of premium cocoa powder to create a sweet chocolatey treat that's just like the crispy edges of a brownie. These are brownie crisp cookies. I'm putting it back in so I won't lose track of it. Keep track of it. Keep the box going. Nothing I don't think I'll have any trouble. I don't think you have any trouble. Um, those actually have a little bit of a, they have a really good chocolate flavor, but they also have a little bit of a saltiness to them, which is good. It ends, like I get a little bit of a salty flavor. The texture of those is them. different from the peanut butter. It's a little softer. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, um, Still very crunchy. If you bake a pan of brownies, and get that crisp edge the very top part of that crisp edge that's what that reminded yep. me of is that top part not yep. necessarily the crisper part but it was just it was softer it, yeah the brownie ones sometimes real brownies when you make it the, the crisp parts a little chewy mm -hmm. these aren't like that they're, no. they're crisp they're not chewy but they do remind you of that flavor of that Kind of like that scorched chocolate flavor. Exactly, that's what I was gonna say. It's not like a, a milk chocolate or something like that. It literally is like a little bit of scorch on your brownies, but it's a, it's a good flavor. Some people think that's the best part. You know. Exactly. Um, these would be good to make as a, like I said, you could use this if you ground them up in a food processor, use them as a crust, mm -hmm. um, or uh, you could make them into little sandwich cookies. These Crumble would be up. good. Put them on ice cream. Put them on ice cream, yeah. And these are the toasted coconut. Um, coconut flakes give these cookies that extra special something. Short and sweet, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and once again, that texture is different from the other two before it. Mm. It's more um, crumbly. Yep, yeah, it kind of comes apart easier. Mm -hmm. Yes, it crumbles. It, it seems thicker. Mm. And maybe that's maybe because kind of, of the apart. coconut. Yeah. But it, it comes across in your mouth. You just feel like you, 
It, you're eating more. You're eating more, yeah. And I think it has to do with those coconut Yeah, there's bites. shreds of coconut all through it, mm -hmm. so you're chewing more. But it's very, very strong coconut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's super strong. And it's a, it is a toasted coconut flavor, but it also kind of has a raw coconut flavor, so it's not like a super sweet coconut. Exactly. It doesn't come across as, as too sweet. None no, that's of these, nice. I like them. All of these would be good with coffee. None of them have come across as, like, too sweet. Uh -oh. um, I think anybody would like these. This is the Meyer Lemon. It says Meyer lemon cookies with a splash of cold pressed Meyer lemon oil, a sprinkle of lemon zest, and a dash of pure cane sugar. These thin, crisp delights will give you that fresh squeezed lemonade picnic in the park filling with everybody. You know, I haven't been given the calories. Eight cookies are 120 calories of the lemon. Uh, the coconut's 130. Pray you would. Um, the chocolate's 130. And the. Um, Peanut butter is 120. That's a very sharp lemon when you first, like first eat it, and then it develops into this very sweet kind of lemon flavor. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of sharp right at the beginning, but then it kind of works itself into a sweet lemon. Mm, yes, it's very nice. It's mm -hmm. sweet. Um, it doesn't taste like a cleaner or anything like that. It um, it oh. would remind you of a. a a slice of lemon cake. Yeah, I would expect Meyer lemon to be, have a little sharpness to it. I would probably mm -hmm. miss it if it wasn't there. If yeah. you're saying it's Meyer lemon, I want that little sharpness. That yes. There. Oh no, I, I very much like it. Mm -hmm. um, All these are good. If you like a nice crisp cookie that's not hard, there's a difference between crisp and hard. Um, these are nice and just crisp but crunchy cookies. Out of um, all of them, which is your favorite? Probably the chocolate one. Okay. I really do like the chocolate one. Then I would probably pick the peanut butter, although the peanut butter didn't really stand out as strong for me as it did for you, but um, but I like the flavor and the texture of them. Um, I um, am a peanut butter fanatic, and that peanut butter was my number one. I love the amount of peanut butter in it. It, it was, um, I think it's really good quality and, and sweet. There was a sweetness to, to me out of all of these. That one came across as the sweetest one, and um, it just had a really good overall flavor. But now... All of them are exactly what they say they are, yeah, you know? Yeah. So, uh, if, if you love Meyer Lemon, then you're going to love that one. If you love Brownie, then pick that one because they do deliver on what they say on the front of the box. So I wonder if there's good. pieces of peel in them. Because I got a little piece of like, it sure seemed like a lemon peel. Or like a, um, in my, in a, I don't know. In a it, bite. I don't know. I don't know. It could have been a piece of coconut. I just can't tell. <laughs> oh, from the cookie before? Yeah, I, just, I can't tell. <laughs> well, these are very good They're quality. Very good. Like I said, we've reviewed them on the channel before. I probably have a Dewey's play, uh, Bakery playlist because we have reviewed so many. Uh, and they do, they don't just make these little thin crispy cookies. They, uh, they actually have bigger, softer cookies mm -hmm. as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.